world number one and number one seed, Ali Farag, in a truly commanding position in this Level. men's final. Kicks off this third game. Substantial two-love lead. All eyes now on the Kiwi. See how he responds. Well, he's the party pooper, isn't he? Again, one all. nullifying Colt. Crowd evidently wanting this to progress for obvious reasons. And Ali Farag, inch perfect in the back corner. OK. No let. Play a review, Farag, on the no let decision. Well, you can't say there was an interference, can you? You can't say there was an interference, and you're also looking at. So he's gone the wrong way, which is initially he's gone the wrong way. I don't know if he's just misjudged his movement there. This could be upheld, you know. Yeah, it's not a it's not a great Your shot. But upheld. Farag has one review remaining. That first movement went off to the right. And out two one now. Well, nice to see Nelly Gillis just signing. Yeah, you should have looked to hit the Somebody's ball. Somebody's well. balls there. You needed to hit the ball. Hand out, 2 1. Dedicated to the course. <laughs> He's done it again. Every time Paul Cole tries to make a foothold, Ali Farag rips it out. It's a poor service, though, from Cole. Miss. Did not miss one of those uh, in that match yesterday against Mustafa Rasal. I haven't seen an unforced error count like this from Paul Cole. I mean, I, I can't remember one all season, really. It's the one thing we, we sort of we can't really predict as commentators. We look look at all the statistics and look at the head to heads, but you know, there's lots going on with every player, their sort of mental state. And he's really struggling. Maybe put a lot of pressure on himself perhaps with the opportunity, with the fact that, that Farag he's got a good record against Farag that he's uh, fasting as well. And as I said, maybe wasn't expecting this from Farag, who just continually seems to shift the goalposts to what we can expect from him. Yeah, it's it's quite brilliant from him. The ad adaptation that Farag is producing throughout this 2023-24 season to deal with Paul Cole. What, what I'd like to see, though, from the Kiwi, oh, oh he's well, he's just literally, he's just. Um, Drop the call. He's asking for a letter, but I think he nearly went up Ali Farag's nose that. Just luckily just popped it. Watch this. This is quite close to his left nostril. That was right on the ear, wasn't it? Cheek. A cheek. And out three all. Oh, Mr. Cole is elected to play a let. I mean, that's very good. Wow, that is. Isn't it good when you're two love down? I love that. 
You know, you see some players do that when they're two love up and match ball up. <laughs> well, also, he knows that that's the kind of thing that we've come to expect from Ali Farag. Huge amount of respect for each other, these two. So I was saying with Paul Cole, this is a, I mean, again, it's, he's responding again, Ali Farag, he's responding, but just a bit more energy about Paul Cole. He's gone very lethargic in his own right, energy about his movement, his swing slowed down slightly. I feel Four, Paul Cole, he was generating a lot more racket head speed when he was winning those those titles and troubling Farag. And he, he's just kind of, he's gone into, a, into his shell, actually. Yeah, he looks very unsettled. The game plan has always been so solid that you know he never really wavers from it and, and that makes him gives him that incredible consistency but you know I think players are constantly trying to work at their game and change things and you know sometimes that can mean that you you, you possibly go go back a step before you're able to move forward again don't really oh. want to be doing that mid-season but I mean that is you know Ali Farag was way away, he just needed to really get that on the front wall. That's a disaster for Paul Colt. Oh, you've got the radio mics there. Good to see some uh, of the audience listening to the commentary, Vanessa. <laughs> Hopefully enjoying it. Hopefully we won't see any thrown into the lake outside when, uh, when this is finished. What do you think, Vanessa? What, what are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, initially, and obviously, uh, three, feeling that Paul Cole would get a result here. He's still got an opportunity to, but what, what do you feel at the moment, mid-stage of the third? I mean, if he was up against anybody else, but Ali Farag, he's, he's got the little two-point lead here. Not that he's going to see the finish line early, but I just don't think he's going to give anything away. I think he's gonna do it. I hope I'm wrong, because we were hoping for a big five setter, but can't see it at the minute. Yes, left three five. Yeah, I mean it's standard there. He didn't create that, that was a bit of both. Moment, Roy Gingell not being troubled, don't want to jinx it. Three, five. Well, that's been another feature of their matches. You know, going above 90 minutes, but very light and low on the decisions. And well, that's been a bit of a theme. Three. As I say, when Paul Cole tries to build some momentum, Ali Farag comes out with a winner in whether it's at the back of the court, the front of the court, it's a and it's all varied. It's varied and it's very early in the rallies. Seven four now. And now seven four. Well, the PSA World Tour nicely settled here in the UK for the bunch of sorry month of March. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's let seven four. 
Player review, Farag, on the yes. Well, Farag's reviewing. So the original decision on this one being a let ball. And Farag feels that there's plenty of room to play. And actually, where Paul Cole's shaping up, this will. The ball's a bit further away. I think this will be upheld personally, but I can understand why Farag's having a shout here. Absolutely. You see where the ball is. Paul Cole should be stepping forward. I think the fact that he's just, as he's the racket prep, that he's just on his shoulder there might give him the let. Yes, let the decision worth a review. Farag has no reviews remaining. Right box, 7-4. So, as Ali Farag serves in this third game, he has zero reviews. The next time he can get a review back is if it goes into a fifth. There's a bit of acceleration, both players. Oh, he wasn't far off, and I tell you, I tell you what, that was fortunate for Cole. I don't think Cole had read that one. And now, very, very fortunate, seven. and he hasn't made many errors at all, Farag. And Cole's been struggling to read those little angles that he's been using. Norlet. Yeah, we wa I, was watch I was watching the movement. And out, 8-5. Yes, let, 8-5. Yeah, no, that's just traffic, general traffic. Eight five. <laughs> general traffic, talking about the M25 being closed. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, is it a tin? Oh, he's. He's hit the tin. Ali Farag was in a commanding position. Absolutely walloped it in the tin. I know he did. What a position for him here. Oh. Would you like this court service on, guys? Be OK? Hand out 6-8. in a rally like that for quite some time. There's Danny Lee, the tournament promoter, enjoying that. Thankfully, he's not singing later. Nail-biting finale to this third game. It is some really tough movements in there for Farag. Cole just trying to spur himself on, back within one point. I do not believe it. Just Paul Cole. Wrong. That Nine area of the court seven. for him is bread and butter for Cole. And it was, in a way, even too easy. Too close to the ball. Oh. Just looked wrong. 
Oh, my word. Feel, feel for it. Nail biting for us even, Joey. Imagine what she's feeling like. I don't know how he squeezed that up. No idea. Oh, he's good. Norlet. Woo! Great decision. Yeah, Norlet. He's got no reviews. It was naughty of Ali Farag. It cost him. He could have played this. He was looking for the stroke. Oh, that was. Eight, nine. Wasn't the best of shots from Colt. Eight, nine. Suddenly, look at the energy of Paul Cole. Just look out, strutting to the service box. Yeah, dropping energy, perhaps, from Farag. Oh, you can't write it. Right at the last part of this third game. Oh! He's not found the front wall at all. He's not found the front wall. There's some Kiwis in the crowd. <laughs> you think? <laughs> game ball for Paul Cole. He's done it. Has he got it? Oh, well. Oh, that's an outrageous shot from Ali Farag. It was a beautiful shot. It was like a forward defensive. Oh, my goodness. And did he need it? Yeah. Oh, he my God. Very, very fatigued in these last oh. rallies. Oh, my goodness me. The time is now on my clock, four minutes past six. Ali Farag is able to break the fast at 6.13. 13-1-3. It's now 10 all. Oh, you can't write this. I mean, how, <laughs> I, uh, how are you feeling? Do you feel ridiculously nervous and edgy? <laughs> sweaty, very sweaty. <laughs> Loving it, though. Hand out 10 all. A player must win by two points. I don't know how he's dug that out. No, he didn't get it on. He didn't get it on. That's a big forehand. Paul goal strutting now again. He's strutting, wanting to serve and crack on a second game ball opportunity for the Kiwi. Massive pressure. Yeah, it's yes, got to be a let ball. Got to be. Yeah, a bit overexcited there. Paul Cole was nearly outside. <laughs> it's the right decision. Ten game ball. It's the right decision. Unbelievable lob. He's turned that round very well, Cole. There's Live and Murphy left it to the last minute. Crowd on their, on their feet.
51 minutes in this men's final. Paul Cole manages to sneak the third. Farag leads by two games to one.